what up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? What's good with the watch? Night watch, man. Um, It's April 2nd, bro. Still nothing. Not a nail, not a word from Jermaine Cole or... What's Drake's real name? I forgot. Aubrey. Been crickets. I mean, it ain't been crickets from Drake. He been over on tour throwing his little hissy fits or whatnot, man. But you would expect that man to be in the booth. Had been in the booth by now. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't take cuz much time to get back. He always gets his get back. Right, like the next day, if not the next couple of days. You feel me? But um, yeah, K-Dot got him shook. You know what I'm saying? They got him shook. Um, I imagine they're going to respond at some point in time. Uh, But, you know... Like we never seen J. Cole in this arena before. We never seen him in this lane with some rap beef. So you know, I don't know what he's cooking up. Maybe it's gonna take him some time to get the, 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 the juices going. But we already know what to expect from Drake. So that just goes to show that Drake is taking his sweet time to execute this 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 uh this response. You know what I'm saying? Uh but I came across this video that says why Drake is scared of Kendrick Lamar. I know why Drake's scared of Kendrick Lamar because you know he can't rap with no fucking Kendrick Lamar. Nobody can rap with Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar let that be known. How long ago did he drop uh, the control verse? How long has it been? And everybody that sh had enough juice to respond did not respond. Right. Direct shot. Ba ba ba. At everybody. I don't gotta rename everybody he listened to that damn song. It's crickets. Cause don't nobody want that smoke. Just like they continue to not want that smoke today. Um, but with that, I did see a post that uh, Drake made. Was it today or the other day? I'll find it and post it in here so y'all can see it, man. But it showed him back in the studio. So, I mean, I, I'm assuming he's doing that to let us all know that he's recording a, a response to K-Dot. You know I'm saying? It took you long enough. And I hope that's what it means, bro. Like, we don't need another album. We don't need another album. Dog. We need we need you to uh, fire up this diss track, right? And even though I know, even though I think K Dot is the best, whatever Drake does is gonna be fire. It's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dope diss track. You know what I mean, it's gonna continue the blows to go back and forth. No Diddy. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna continue the shots to be shot back and forth with uh, one another, man. But you know, just bar for bar and and where. Where people are willing to go, uh, Drake Drake can't do what K Dot does. Um, I, I'll get off my soapbox for for a minute, <laughs> even though I don't imagine it's gonna be the the last time I do it. But um, before we tap into this video, it comes from a uh, fantastic hip hop. Uh, I, I saw a few seconds of it, man, so it, it didn't seem like it was a waste of time. It seemed like something that was seemed like quality work, well put together, well thought out. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them. I leave the link for the original video if y'all wanna peep it and go. Uh, people with other uh, content they got, man. But before we dive into it, please pull up the shop, stevenight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you're rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something you like, I got you. Uh, shout out to my Night Talk channel, my other YouTube channel, man. Link for that description box below. Uh, follow my Instagram and my Patreon, Night Watch. You feel me? Um, yeah, let's get it. Let's see why Drake is scared of KDOT. <laughs> You got one that says why Cole is scared of K-Dot? I don't think Cole is scared though, because he Drake is though. He is. Let's do it. With it being well over a week since Kendrick Lamar dissed Drake in a fashion like we have <laughs> never seen before on Future and Metro Boomin's chart top and song like that, it's clear that while in the past, Drake may have been quick to clap right back at any rapper who's challenged him. Facts. He's taking an entirely different approach to this beef with Kendrick, and the reason why will shock you. Now, when it comes to Drake, since the entire world has stopped as Kendrick Lamar violated him in a way that people have been waiting to see for over a decade at this point, everyone has been patiently waiting to see Drake, who has historically always been ready to throw out disses at everybody else, clap back at possibly yes, his sir. biggest adversary ever, and decide from some Instagram captions and rants at concerts. <laughs> the rapper who once made fun of somebody like Meek Mill with a line like trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers has pretty much now done the exact same thing, and this lack of a genuine response 
response is really damaging Drake's reputation in the hip hop world. After being ready to throw out disses at anybody who he's been at odds with over the years, Drake has always made himself seem battle ready regardless of the stature of the competition he was up against, but now, as Drake stands face to face with the obstacle of responding back to the one and only Kendrick Lamar, it seems like he's doing everything else but getting in the studio and sending back shots, and when you understand why this is, you have to really sit and question Drake's entire status in the rap game. Now, in full force, in a manner you like we what, have- though, like, at the end of the day, all this is gonna be is for entertainment. When all the dust settles from whatever comes from this beef, nothing is gonna do anything to anybody else's career. There's nothing KDOT can do that's going to impact Drake legacy-wise. There's nothing that Drake can do that's going to impact KDOT legacy-wise. They've all been doing what they've been doing long enough to have their fan base solidified. <laughs> a Drake fan is not going to turn into a KDOT fan and vice versa. Maybe those that are like iffy about it, if or for those that care enough to be iffy about it, maybe for those, men, but like the grand scheme of things, this ain't going to change nothing for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess the, the the person who has the most to benefit from this would be a J. Cole. Like, if he came this moment and just ripped everybody's face off, then, you know, that would, say, that would say a lot within the rap beef. It still wouldn't put him ahead of nobody. Um, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because there seems to be a lot of more contention between Drake and J. Cole. Optically. But for me personally, even when I had these conversations with people on my own time, and even when I put polls up, I put multiple polls up on my platforms specifically, and it's and KDOT has been the chosen one by a landslide as far as who's the better rapper. But I, I do think that J. Cole has the most to benefit from this if he executes this flawlessly, right? Like if you come out this rap beef on top, even though that's gonna be difficult too, bro, because it's so subjective, right? But like, if you can just come on this motherfucker and like ether it, you know what I'm saying? As subjective as ether and the takeover is, the majority have Nas killing Hove in that rap beef. But did that make Nas better than Jay-Z in the majority's eyes? No, it didn't. So it's just for us, you know what I'm saying? Just the theatrics, the dramatics of it all. <laughs> Everybody's hating Drake, bro. The narrative is just flipped. Everybody loves Drake now. Everybody hates Drake. It's just funny. Uh, let's continue. Never seen before. Drake's greatness is being tested in a way that can truly have consequences on not just how the hip hop world views him, but how the entire population respects and even wants new music from him as a whole. Yes, now, in the past, Drake either beefed with targets that were too easy to destroy, like Meek Mill, or even when they were lethal and damaged his reputation in the hip hop. Was Meek Mill easy to destroy? I mean, he was when he did it, but did he think Meek, will, Meek Mill was gonna be easy to destroy? Nah, that's cap. Didn't nobody, couldn't nobody predict that Drake was going to rip Meek Mill's face off like that. Because back then, Meek Mill was a, was, a, was a thug. He wasn't, you know, a, a, a bunghole for Diddy to play with. Right? He, he has that on him now. It's terrible. It's terrible. How you go from this image to that image that quick, bro? Damn, that sucks. But, but prior to Drake washing Meek, bro, it was not the overall consensus that Drake was going to win that rap beef. Right, because Meek Mill came from battle rap. You would expect him to handle that much differently, but then you know Drake just came in. And then like even like kind of what I was just uh getting to, right? Like this rap beef will do nothing to Drake. If anybody up until this point would have made an impact on Drake's career objectively, it would have been Pusha T. Because Pusha T has whooped Drake's ass every time when it came to them rap beef but it didn't do anything to drake because drake's footprint is too large right it doesn't, it doesn't matter what anybody says um maybe if k-dot came with something like that but i don't think k-dot would go that deep i don't think he's gonna make it that personal it's gonna it's gonna strictly be to regarding rap you know what i'm saying k-dot is not gonna take no low blows it's like bro you gotta prove you better than me it's gonna just stick to rap right and um yeah, if K-Dot would have taken a Pusha T approach, doing some low blows with the rap shit, okay. Now we talking. Now we're talking. But, um, yeah, you know, Pusha T didn't even put a dent in Drake's career, bro, and he should have, dog.
world like Pusha T were never big enough to stain his image to the entire yep. world. But now, with not just Kendrick Lamar, but also Metro Boomin and Future and beyond that, Rick Ross and even <laughs> Kanye West all moving against him at one time. Drake is against a series of titans where if he makes one wrong move, everything that his brand stands for can potentially uh, be destroyed. Drake don't give now, a while fuck. Kanye West calling out Drake and saying he watched him when they performed together at their 2021 joint concert and Future and Metro Boomin throwing disses at him throughout their entire brand new album is one thing for Drake. What's really causing him to move differently than he ever has is the looming threat of Kendrick Lamar, who didn't just throw some of the most lethal shots that have ever been targeted his way on one of the most successful chart top songs that rap has ever seen and like that but on top of the shots that have kicked this feud into full gear kendrick they allegedly already like the, the diss track was nasty but it wasn't the worst shit ever he's he's gassing it it's just because of what it who it was from what it who it was to it was a rap beef record on the metro and futures what it represented k dot don't do that right so it's just like the image but you know push the t's versus the the nastiest diss ever to Drake. So I'm saying if if K Dot came with some Pusha T lyrics, bro. All right, now we now we have, now we got something to talk about, bro. But this is just to get the 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 the, the it's just to get the game going. Right now it's on y'all to you know return to serve. Now come on now, we've been waiting. Now it's been it's been weeks. Come on now. Even with the control verse that K-Dot dropped, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was vicious because it was so direct. He named everybody out. He listed them and said, I love y'all, but I'm trying to... He didn't say, I love y'all. He said, he's like, I'll put y'all's music, but whatever, but I'm trying to murder y'all on this rap shit. But outside of that, bro, it wasn't nothing crazy. It was just that K-Dot was talking his shit. But yeah, he, he definitely gassing it, bro. Ready has another full-length diss track on Drake ready to go, which people are saying could be career-ending. <laughs> so with all of Ain't this pressure looming Drake's over career, Drake bro. from a rapper who is unanimously considered one of the most skilled and respected of all time, he can't just come back and throw out the standard type of disses that he has been relying on to clown his competition for years, but instead... He needs to come up with something much greater rep, and this rep. is where the problem lies. Drake and his team are scrambling right now to find any sort of skeletons they can dig up from Kendrick Lamar's closet, also that Drake can paint Kendrick in a light where he can make a diss truly hold some weight against him, but the problem with this is, it's not that Kendrick Lamar is a perfect person and that he has never done horrible things in his life that could be used against him in a lyrical duel because he sure has, but instead of letting his biggest rivals make him look like a fool, he just made he an entire about album about his failures as a person with his 2022 record Mr. Morrell and the Big Steppers. So in a way, by Kendrick showing us just how flawed of a man he already is, he has blocked off the route that Drake was going to try to take to win in a full-fledged beat against miles. him. And when you understand this, it really shows you that Kendrick Lamar didn't just ignite this feud in about as insane of a fashion that an MC can but he is really playing his competition like a chess master as he is not just actively coming at Drake but he has already prepared and cut off the most lethal way possible that Drake could have came at him as a whole. So now with yeah, Drake really having no thick, bro. It ain't even that deep, dog. You put it on thick, bro. They can come up with some, some, some. some. Matter of fact, I hope Drake uh, takes a low blow at K-Dot because I just want to see how K-Dot will respond. I mean, according to y'all, he already got something written, but he may have to rewrite that shit if, you know, if Drake go for the family or talk about something real personal. You know what I mean? But I just, I don't, I don't think that Drake would do that. <laughs> but I hope he do, bro. Because then, because <laughs> It's curtains. <laughs> it's curtains, bro. You want to pull that edible out, dog? Pull that edible out, bro. Do it. Do it, motherfucker. <laughs> do it. I dare you, bitch. I dare you, bitch. Let's get it, dog. Chance at telling us something about Kendrick Lamar's personal life to take the spotlight away from him. Kendrick has alleviated all of the gimmicks and potential shock value out of this beef and has really left Drake with one and one thing only, the sheer weight of his skill. With Drake having nothing to dig up, the only way he is going to be able to respond to Kendrick is by using his lyrical ability to write up the most clever and painful jabs that he possibly can and with this, we will truly be able to see how good of an MC Drake is as he will only be able to rely on the technical aspect of his lyrical arsenal and his own wittiness to step over Kendrick Lamar. Now, while Drake is a pretty solid lyricist, bro, that it shit doesn't put me in mind. I just, I'm a, I'll probably drop it the same day. I did a reaction to uh, some Drake AI, 
it was Drake's voice over some some something uh some producer and writer wrote, bro. Something like that. And the, and the shit he wrote, bro. Like, if Drake came with some shit like that. You pussy, it took you a decade to speak. The K got a dot, knock your head off your shoulders, man. Fuck all them Grammys, I'm best in the league. <laughs> but Drake, but Drake couldn't because Drake isn't a thug. Like, he's not a one of these types. But that's the type of energy Buddy had, bro. It was just nasty. I'm going to drop it so y'all can see, bro. It was cold, bro. If Drake come with some shit like that, now we talking. Now we're talking, but you're not, yeah, you're not gonna like out bar Kendrick. You're not gonna out lyric Kendrick. You're not gonna out simile metaphor entendre. You know, maybe like a little Instagram quote type. Maybe you could do that, but nah. He, he could come up with a better verse that Kendrick dropped already. But like I said, I think that was just the the beginning to get this shit going. Like you ain't, you ain't synced it. You ain't synced it yet, bro. You ain't synced it yet, dog. Uh -huh an expert to tell you that Kendrick Lamar is miles better than him, so at this point, it seems pretty unfavorable that Drake will even be able to release anything more damaging than the shots fired off on Like That, so knowing this, I think we shouldn't expect Drake to release another song like Back to Back because he can't, as there is nothing he can dig up on Kendrick to attack his character, and if he released something like he did at Pusha T with Dubby Freestyle, he would get even more embarrassed than he ever has. So at this point, I think there's really only two routes that Drake can take in this beat. Now did did Drake respond to Pusha? Um, I'm thinking every diss record or rap beef that every beef that Drake has had up with, up until this point, he was arguably a better rapper, or not even better rapper, more successful than who's than his opponent. You know what I'm saying? And that go that, that weighs a lot because you go in that you go in this motherfucker with the confidence. We're like, I'm I'm better than this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the juice, I got the swag. Like, I'm 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 confident in this. Drake ain't confident with K Dot, so you got to go into this shit a whole lot different. But I'm trying to think, like, you're not a better rapper than Pusha T, nah. But you're you're more polarizing. You're more known. You know what I'm saying? You got more reach. Your fan base is gonna rock with you regardless. So Pusha T just wasn't. A big enough artist to even scathe you at all, you know what I'm saying? Even with that monster verse he dropped, it didn't it didn't do nothing. Like he just whoosh, let that shit go by. He just dodged that bullet. But like if you got somebody like a, J a Cole or a Big Sean or K Dot, you know what I'm saying? One of these monsters out here that can really get up in your ass. It's a whole different story. So I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, pull up the list of all the rappers. Drake has, has had rap beef with I mean, Joe Button. Uh, Drake's biggest feuds. Uh, Kanye. That's, that's the man. Kanye. That's a big one. Uh, and they just been sneak dissing each other the whole time. But it hasn't been like, well, that red button shit that uh, <laughs> Drake dropped was nasty. <laughs> That was nasty. I don't think there's a, but I don't think Kanye's put out an entire diss record on Drake. It's always just been little one-liners here and there. If Kanye would give Drake a whole track, it'd be interesting. But Kanye just got so much shit out there, bro. There's so much shit to attack with him, bro. Like, he's insane. He literally attacks himself, so you can't really insult him. But yeah, I guess that's one. Pusha, Meek Mill, Kanye, Joe Budden, Common, Tiger, Luda. Uh. Now on one hand, Drake can continue to just scream on stage and throw jabs through Instagram posts like he's a middle schooler, which overall will only give Kendrick Lamar the win by default because if after over a decade, that is the best you got. All of the excessive talking and all of the disses that Drake seems to throw out on every project he releases all seem meaningless as when push comes to shove, you mean he can't scared. actually put his money where his mouth is. And aside from this route, which would seemingly manage to lose him even more respect in hip hop culture than he already has. If Drake isn't gonna release a sole diss track aimed at Kendrick Lamar, with Lamar and so many other heavyweights moving against him. What Drake may do is release an entire EP or even album in the vein of something like a Scary Hours 3, or even if you're reading this, it's too late, that serves My one goal album, to clap back at all the rappers who are dissing him, but most importantly, to invalidate Kendrick Lamar's shots by releasing a body of work that shows Drake being a genuinely great rapper. 
With Drake recently dropping a record like Scary Hours 3, which showed us that he definitely can still rap, and with that, over some pretty amazing beats from producers like Conductor Williams and The Alchemist, it's clear that beyond all the gimmicks and all the cringy antics, there is still some part of him that can be a feared MC, and if he pushes himself to respond to Kendrick and all of the competition moving against him bro, like this... Alright, bro. Alright, man. Everybody else don't matter, bro. The only person that matters is Kendrick. Uh, and we can have beef with Future and Metro. Like, Metro not finna rap. Future can't out-rap Drake. Rick Ross can't out-rap Drake. Who else he got beef with? Travis can't out-rap Drake. I mean, ain't nobody worried about that. Just rap beef. Little, little high school girl, gossip girl type shit, bro. Only motherfucker that matters is K-Dot, bro. It's only motherfucker that matters, dog. And you taking your sweet ass time, which already shows the world you scared, bro. You being... Bitch, I understand why, dog. You gotta take your time with it, right? You can't just come up with some bullshit in the studio because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure you fire this bitch off perfect, bro. You gotta line them sights up just right. You know what I'm saying? Hit that fucking target, dog. If you miss, if you miss, you're gonna get embarrassed that much more. And then at the end of the day, Drake is not trying to look like a loser, right? So, um, but I just, I think that's uh, it's, it's inevitable, bro. It's, un it's inevitable. It's unavoidable, bro. The train is coming. Nothing you can do. <laughs> that K dot, that K dot is coming, bro. Ooh, cuz said, cuz said, I got a, I got a K with a dot to knock your head off your shoulder, bro. The the AI Drake, you know what I'm saying? Watch Drake uh, try to steal some shit like that, bro. But like, it's unavoidable, dog. There's nothing that Drake can do to avoid this mess. And he, like I've said in the past, I'm not even really concerned about it. I just wanted to see what was in this video. Um, Drake is. Chump change, it's lunch meat, it's chum, right? Sardines when it comes to Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is not worried about no fucking Drake at all. He ain't say shit the last time, and it seemed like he ain't saying shit this time. The only motherfucker that matters at this point is J. Cole, because J. Cole think he the best. So if J. Cole, you think you the best, it's time to prove that you the best. All right, let's get it.